Hi and welcome back to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. And today we've got quite a bit to cover so I want to get right to it for you. We're going to be looking at uh, nose jobs and also how to get rid of unwanted objects in your picture without using the clone stamp tool. Okay, starting out first with the nose job. What I've done here is just opened up a picture and uh, zoomed in close and uh, then taking just your lasso tool over here and made a selection around the nose. Now the next thing that's going to be uh, necessary to do, or it's going to be helpful anyway for you, go up here to select and feather this selection uh, depending upon uh, how high of a resolution picture you might be anywhere between 10 and 20 or more but uh, this one is uh, a fairly high res. I'll just use a, a feather radius of 15 pixels and click OK. And then the next thing we want to do is to put this selection on its own layer. So, uh, the keyboard shortcut for that is the control key and the J and now you see it over here in your layers palette or as they call it in some of the new versions of Photoshop Elements like Photoshop Elements 8 we're going to call this a panel. All right. So once this is done, then we're, we want to go to the transform key, and we can do that by going to image, transform, and free transform, or just hold down the control key and the T key. This brings up your bounding box. So to keep everything um, in perspective. Uh, th this will seem a little strange. You're going to hold down three keys, your control key, your alt key, and your shift key. And um, then go to this handle in the bounding box and push inward. You see this kind of draws the, the nose up. It does slim it, but it makes it just a little bit too short. So once you've done that, then release those three keys then get the top handle and push this nose back down to where it's supposed to be or where you think it looks good and then press enter or the little check mark. Now if there's parts of the uh, underneath nose or the original nose that's that's showing you can do a couple of things you can use your clone stamp tool or you can just simply use your eraser tool and and take away anything that's uh, peeking out from the underneath layer now I'm going to turn this layer off so you can see where we started and what we have accomplished here okay this is the after this is the before before after, before, after. Usually we try to be just a little more subtle and this is one of the fixes that you might even want to, uh, the subject that you want, want to broach with here with the person that you've photographed in case uh, maybe they don't want their nose fixed or it's uh, a characteristic of theirs. So uh, we'll be a little diplomatic on that score. Uh, uh, our friend here also, you can see it has um, it probably this may have been a broken nose or whatever, but it also has this kind of bulbous over here on this side. So what I'm going to do so that uh, I can uh, touch that up just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to merge these layers together so we can fix it. I'm going to just uh, merge down. And then I'm going to go up to Filter and Distort and our friend the Liquify filter that we've talked about before. And I'm going to zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. It might be just a little bit much there. There we go. And uh, once again, now you have to be a little bit careful with these Liquify filters uh, because uh, w as you push stuff in, you're also stretching or dragging out things from the surrounding area. Anyway, I want to go up here to the, the first tool, which is called the Warp Tool, 
and I've got a, a fairly good size radius here and what I want to do is I just simply want to to fix this bulge just a little bit and reshape that nose and you can see there's there's the after there's the before I think that's made a a nice improvement to that nose shape also while you're in here you can uh, elongate or shorten up the nose here just a little bit so it kind of moves to our left slightly so I'm going to bring it back around here to the right and click OK that loads up and now we, we have a quite a bit of difference in uh, where we originally started this is a nice fix for this person here now let's move on uh, to our next subject you know we often use the clone stamp tool to get rid of uh, things in our pictures that we don't want to be there and that's fine but you know there's another method and there's sometimes that the clone stamp tool is not the best alternative let's take this uh, example I'm going to zoom in here to the building and we'll pretend that this reflection of trees is something that we do not want we want to make sure that the, the building is only reflecting the sky and the clouds now we could use the clone stamp tool uh, to work on this but it would be really tough you're going to have to zero in a lot do and do quite a bit of um, moving the clear areas over in here to the tree reflection area so instead of doing that let's take a another approach to it and in a way it's going to be a lot like our nose job and that's one of the reasons that uh, these two are together so uh, in this case um, you could use a couple of different tools uh, I'm going to pick the polygonal lasso tool and in these these are the panels that I'm worried about here it's uh, five panels across and three panels deep. Okay, so I'm going to go over where there aren't uh, any objectionable reflections. I'm going to go uh, three deep. I'm going to go to there, click and anchor it there. I'm gonna come over five panels, click, click there and then once the little circle shows up that's going to um, close the selection you see the little marching ants in the bounding box I'm going to go ahead and go to select I'm, I'm going to feather it a little bit uh, not much in this case Your pixels and go OK and then once again control and the letter J it copies that area to its own layer and here it is over in this box. So then I'm just going to press V or the move tool to get the bounding box and I'm just going to drag that over to the area that has the offending reflections of the tree and click it and it, it's almost perfect there if it's just a little bit out of sync in this particular instance this is a very small portion of the picture and I can probably get by with it uh, just as it is if there uh, I needed to change the perspective a little bit I could do that with free transform if there's anything that's hanging out that I don't like for example down here uh, I can get the eraser tool excuse me get back on this layer and erase anything that doesn't belong to it right there. If I wanted to erase along a straight edge, and you may remember, I'm going to uh, use a brush that uh, is, is a harder brush, and I can click on an area, hold down my shift key, and it's going to erase in a straight line, just like that. Well, those are a couple of ideas for you to use in your images. Be creative once again, and we'll talk again next time. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.